begin, take this time to close your eyes and let your hands rest. Turning your palms to face up on your knees. Let your upper arms rest right next to you. And with your eyes closed, just begin to listen to the sound of your breathing. We will practice together today for 90 minutes, level two. A beautiful practice called aligning your axis. So when we speak today of the core, we're redefining the core as the core axis of your body rather than your abdominals. So think about the length of your spine now, just like you would think about the core of an apple as the core. And we'll be traveling with our attention from the base of your spine all the way up through to the top top crown of your head. And as we travel, we're going to follow a series of tiny, thousands of tiny little muscle fibers. They're called the multifidus muscles, and they are situated just next to your spine on either side, and they're very close to the spine. And so it takes a little while as you sit to begin to bring your attention that deeply internally. Good. And as you do, what you begin to notice is the latitudes of your body at which you're blocked. So just to play and give some examples, move your sitting bones back and start to open up the latitude of your lower back. As you draw gently your hip bones up a little bit higher away from your thighs, begin to open the latitude of your solar plexus up into your heart space. And then extending from your hips out through to your knees, begin to open the latitude of your shoulders, your neck, behind the sockets of your eyes. And then softening up into the crown of your head. And relaxing open, upward. Throughout the practices, we address these little multifidus muscles in every pose. We'll find ways to soften the body around them. And receive the teaching, which is really just how can we stand tall in the face of anything without feeling like we have to fight. and instead really just receiving the lesson and responding beautifully. Bring your hands to prayer.
Keep them long as you exhale and round back. Good. Again. And X. And see if you can maintain the height, the intention, keep going. The intention to maintain the height is all your nervous system needs to move into a different place. And you'll feel the tone change over the course of the practice. Let's just take a few more of these to warm up. Last one, big full breath in. And exhale. Good. Come back to a neutral spine and come to stand at the front of your mat. Turn your palms to face forward. Good. Just get ready to be a couple inches taller. Root your feet down into the floor now. And really ground them down. Be intentional about standing on them. And then shift that gently to a restful quality in your feet. And then from there, lengthen from the base of your spine all along these little tiny hundreds and thousands of openings up the sides of your spine, up into the back of your neck, up into the space in the middle of your brain, to the top of your head, which softens. Good. And keeping that height, inhale your arms up high next to your ears. And as you exhale, fold down. And try and keep that height as you land. Inhale, heart forward. And again, think about the whole core, as we talked about earlier, the apple core, the whole core cylindrically lengthening. And exhale, fold. Again, big inhale. Maintaining the structure, open. And exhale. Again, big breath in. Good, and exhale. Excellent. Step your left foot to the back of your mat and lower onto your left knee. Let your pelvis come way forward. And just take a nice, long, easy stretch there. As you wish, keeping your hands on the floor. Good, let your pelvis come down just a little bit more. And keep your back toes tucked. Good. And then gently stretch the right leg straight. A modified Parjvottanasana on the back heel stays off the floor, doesn't move. And just fold down wherever you can. It's the first moment, so don't force it. And again, go to your spine and think about the length from the base of your spine all the way up and in following it and in maintaining the height we create this new tone, neutral, for the nervous system. And then gently bend your front knee. Step your left foot forward. Place it next to your right, and step your right foot back. And again, the right knee down. And just coming down into the stretch, nothing fancy. Just let your pelvis come forward to the Farthest, lengthen your spine nice and long, and just breathe deeply and let your legs breathe. And very gently keeping your back toes tucked, lift your back knee, straighten, 
Rolls back leg and front leg and fold down. Place your left hand, guys, on the back of your neck for a moment, really lovingly. Don't squeeze, just lay it there. Lay it there until your throat gets a little softer. Good, and then release your left hand down to the floor, step your right foot forward. Inhale your heart forward. Good. This time as you exhale, step back to plank pose. And here we have a chance to start to lengthen this column longer. So it's really not one action base to the top of your head. It really is thousands of little tiny openings that we're following and holding in our awareness and then maintaining that height, chaturanga. And release down onto the floor, point your toes, lift into small cobra. Nice and easy to start. Good. And then tuck your toes, exhale back, downward facing. Mm. Good. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Once again, bring your back knee down. Turn your left fingertips open. And bring your right arm to the sky. Good. And let your pelvis sink just a little bit deeper. The moment you feel compromised there, hug your front heel toward your back knee. And then extend from your hips out through both thighs evenly. Good, and bring your right hand down to the floor. Step back, down dog. Let it be nice and long and easy. And left foot to the outside of your left hand. Again, coming down onto your right knee. And turning your right fingertips open. Mm -hmm. And bring your left arm high to the sky. And let your pelvis come down and let, let it... Get right to the edge, and right where you get to that edge, hug your front heel toward your back knee. Open things up as you extend to meet that from hips out to both of your knees the same. Good, and bring your left hand down to the floor. Step back, down dog. Good. Keeping your spine long, once again, come to plank pose. And keeping it long, lift your right leg off the floor. And point the toes. And lengthen your spine even longer. Good. And then your left. Again, pointing the toes super long through your spine. Think about the sides of your spine opening. And then reach back into down dog, both feet on the floor. Good. Bend your knees, look between your hands, very gently jump your feet forward. Inhale your heart forward. And exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, reach and rise, bring your arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale your hands to your heart in prayer. And now standing, feel your feet. And feel this soft height in your spine. No forcing this inner lift. Just feel the soft height of your spine. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. And follow that soft height all the way to where your spine, if it were to reach all the way up into your brain, 
would intersect with your thumbs were they to reach all the way back into your head. And right at that point, just let some space open. Feel all the movement in your body. Smile to yourself. And then gently release your hands down. Just keep that in your awareness. Inhale, reach your arms up high. And we move. Exhale, fold. Inhale, heart forward. Good. Exhale. Chaturanga. Small cobra, up dog, as you like, every time. Good. And exhale, back to your down dog. Bend your knees, like between your hands, gently jump. Heart forward. And exhale. Reach and rise, big breath in. And hands to your heart. Good, we'll take three more full vinyasas like that. Take your time, I'll barely speak. So you can have some quiet time. And stay with your breathing. Should be right around your third time now. We'll meet in this third downward facing dog. So you can hang out there for a few moments. And keeping this height in your spine is a task, it's a practice. And it's interesting to do no matter what architectural configuration we take. Bring your right hand to your outer left calf. Press your left hand into the floor toward the midline. Hold your outer left calf. Bend your right elbow away from the left calf and turn to look up underneath your left arm. Maintaining this height in your spine. Switch your hands, please.
left hand to the floor. Bring your right foot between your hands quietly, please. Bring your left heel to the floor behind you. Go ahead and straighten your front leg and walk your right hand back until your right forearm and your right outer calf are in contact. Turn your fingertips open to the right gently and spin open to triangle pose. Left arm high to the sky. And for now, make the pose about extending from your hips out through all limbs equally and evenly. And then add to that extension the length of your spine and all those thousands of tiny little openings as you expand forward. And go slowly as you follow them. So that as you follow them, they all have a chance to wake up and open. Good. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Step back. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Bring your left foot between your hands. Right heel to the floor. Good. Left fingertips on the floor, moving back a bit until your left forearm and your left outer calf are in contact. Ground down through your right foot, right arm to the sky. Shrikan awesome. So I don't want to crowd our minds with too much information. Just keep your awareness following that length from bottom to top of your spine, close to your spine, slowly. So you have a chance to visit each latitude and really choose what happens. Good, Nagar, very good. Very gently release your right hand down to the floor. Beautiful, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga. Down to the floor. Good. Point your toes, interlace your hands behind you. Lift your feet and your chest. And do this pose from the vantage point of he or she who is just lengthening the spine to lift. So it's not about lifting everything up. It really is about lengthening to open to lift. And then gently release that down. Turn your gaze to the right and let your palms face up next to you. Good, and very gently come back to hands right next to your chest, under your shoulders. And center with your forehead and place your forehead down on the mat. And with your forehead down, gently lift your upper arms away from the floor until you feel a lift in your chest. And then according to that lift, lift your head and neck. Good. And then tuck your toes, lift your knees. And then from here is super optional. You can go straight back to down dog or you can find your way into chaturanga from right here. Good. Make your spine super long. And then slowly press back into downward facing dog with a big smile on your face. Yes. When you smile, you are the master of yourself. Right foot between your hands. Immediately finding your way into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand fingertips to the upper right corner of your space. Left hand to left waist. Left toes pointed. Turn to your left. Then begin to flare the fourth and fifth toes of your left foot. Lengthen both sides of your waist longer. Follow from the base of your spine through to the backs of your eyes. This lengthening, all these little tiny 
openings. Bring your left arm high to the sky. <clears throat> now feel how this length becomes the buoyancy of the pose. If you wish, you could almost try it. Test your right hand off the floor for the balance. And then bring your left hand down to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. And just pedal your feet out between sides. Always feels so good to me. <clears throat> and bring your left foot between your hands. Right into Ardha Chandrasana. If you need a prop, a bottle will do, a cup will do. If you don't have a block. Bring your right hand to your right waist first. Point your right foot toes, flare the fourth and fifth toes, turn to your right, and then slowly bring your right arm high. Focus instead on lengthening your spine from base all the way to the backs of your eyes, and on how that length actually holds you here. Check the balance if you wish. And then gently release down. Come back to down dog. Good. Right foot between your hands, warrior two, please. Get nice and low into your front leg. <clears throat> Bring your back hand to your back leg. Keep your spine super long. Bring your right arm over your right ear. Tail down. Make your spine just a little bit longer. Look up to the ceiling to the inside of your right arm. Bend your front knee more deeply. Keep that length as you cartwheel your hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga, upward facing. Back to down dog. <clears throat> Left foot between your hands, warrior two. Mm. Again, bring your back hand to your back leg. <clears throat> and left arm up, turning to look up to the inside of your left arm, up at the sky. Bend your front knee more deeply. Keep your outer back foot rooting down and lengthen your spine and follow that lengthening for just the next few breaths. And then gently cartwheel your hands to the floor and step back down dog. Very good. Bring your right knee forward for pigeon. And come on down. This is what we call luxurious New York style. Coming down onto your elbows. My friends in New York do a lot of walking. So usually within the first 20, 30 minutes of class, we get down into a pigeon and just hang out there for a while. So be just a little bit conscious of how this is falling into your body now. You can kind of move your weight a little bit from side to side. But maintain the intention to hold that height in your spine. And your lucky little nervous system. 
has a nice new pathway, staying open when you want to close. And now consciously leaning all the way over to your right side and kind of letting the outer right seat come down. And then rolling all the way over to your left side until your outer left seat is down, outer left hip is down. You can use your hands to really push into the floor. So nice stretch for your right side. Good, and then stay there, lean onto your left elbow and bend your left knee. And take a hold of the outside of your left foot. I think somebody in the room telepathically was asking for this because it wasn't in my plan. Press your foot back into your hand. You can always bend your right elbow, that's always an option, but for now just press the foot back and with your spine tall and nice height, Allow your heart to fall back into the opening. Allow your head to fall back into the opening that your heart just made. And then very gently release that. And come on back to your down dog, take your time. Take the vinyasa if you wish, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down up. Good. Left knee forward for pigeon. Coming down onto your elbows. Take a few moments there, right and left, just to settle in. It's a very different side. And slowly lean all the way over onto your left seat. And just take a nice stretch there. Take a minute here. For some reason, everyone's left tush is such a such an episode every time. <laughs> And then find your way over to your right side. And then you can bend your right knee when you're ready. Resting on your right elbow, reach back with your left hand. And find a nice little opening here. Take a hold of that foot. You can always bend your elbow, but really nice just to press the foot back. Lengthen your spine. And then find where your head 
lines up with that length. And very gently release that down. Take one more moment there before you come back into downward facing dog. Take a moment, take a moment. When you're ready, we can meet in dog. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Just touch, look forward, long spine, little smile, and back to dog. Bring your left knee to your left upper arm. Touch, look forward, smiling, a lot of space inside, and reach back. Now we'll take little circles. Right knee, right upper arm. You don't have to touch this time. Over to the left upper arm, and inhale high. Exhale, right to left, to the in-breath. Exhale. Inhale up. Spine long, fourth time, exhale. And inhale. Good. Right foot down. Left knee, left upper arm. Don't even touch, over to the right. Inhale and high. Second time. Left to right to the in breath. And left, right, inhale. Left knee to left upper arm, left knee, right upper arm. Inhale, dog stretch. Good. Left foot next to right. Down onto your knees. And just sit for a moment, hands resting, eyes closed. Find the height. Now open your eyes gently for a moment. Bring your head way forward of your spine. Okay? Now bring your head back onto your spine. Bring your head forward of your spine. Take a breath there. Bring your head back onto your spine. Take a breath there. Okay, good. Down dog. Right knee, right upper arm. Over to the left. Stretch that right leg out underneath you. Yes. Come on to your left foot. Turn your right hand open to the right. Bring your left hand to your left waist. Walk your right foot a little farther away from you. Turn back. Lengthen your spine. Feel your head on top of your spine. Left arm next to your left ear. So the head's going right on top of your spine like it did when you were sitting moments ago. Stretch through both legs super long. And then slowly bring your left hand to the floor and let your right hip drop to the floor. Let your left foot relax. Turn towards the front of your mat. Now you're twisting right at your navel. Bend your elbows and lower down and turn onto your right temple, looking in the direction of your right foot. Good. And slowly come up. Plant your left foot behind you. Lift up slowly. Dog split, right leg high. Very nice. Right foot down, plank chaturanga up dog, down dog.
Left knee, left upper arm over to the right. Extend it out underneath your right. Come on to your right foot. Right hand to right waist. Turn your left fingertips open a little bit. Bring your head on top of your spine. Right arm next to right ear. Long. And stretch it open. Yes. Hmm. And then gently bring your right hand down to the floor. Rest your left hip down. Bend your elbows coming down onto your left temple. Just take a second there. I'm going to take a nice long stretch version of this in a little while. And then press into your hands. Turn your gaze to face the mat. Lift up. Come on to your back foot and extend that left leg high into your dog split. Good. And left foot next to right. Bend your knees, look between your hands, gently jump. Inhale your heart forward and fold. Good. Separate your feet mat width the part. And lengthen the top of your head toward the floor. Bring your hands behind your heels and use that traction to just draw the top of your head toward the floor like crazy. Really, really get the length. And now you're working with gravity, which is such a pleasure to have that same experience of height in your spine. And inhale your heart forward. Bring your hands back to the floor in front of your feet. Jump back, chaturanga. Keep it long in your spine. Inhale, upward facing. The intent to hold the height is what tones our nervous system. And exhale, back to down dog. Good. This time, slip your right leg underneath. Over to the left once again. Come down, but bring your right arm out to the right and your left hand fingertips over top of your head and press into the floor and just give yourself a little twist so that you're getting a nice stretch through your right upper arm, shoulder. Okay, what you'll notice now is that once again your head is not on top of your spine so you can probably move it back. And that may mean also walking your left hand a little farther back as well. And then very gently bring your hands right to the front of your mat. Take your time. This time you're going to press back up into a chaturanga with your legs like this. Good. And come back to dog split. Very nice. Right foot down. Slip your left leg underneath you over to the right side. Come down. Extend your left arm open to the left. Uh-huh. Take the stretch. Walk your right hand fingertips over your head. And again, we'll just move the head now. Notice how far your head is sort of forward toward that left foot and move it back over your spine. Yeah. With the back foot, you can just have the inner foot on the floor is fine. And breathing deeply.
Good. And then very gently placing your hands at the front of your mat. Gently and slightly awkwardly coming into Chaturanga. Right from here. And pressing back, downward facing dog, split, left leg high. Good, plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Good, and back to down now. Very good. Right foot between your hands, warrior one, please. <sighs> Keep the outer edge of your back foot down and lengthen from the base of your spine to your back waist. Bring that up to the back of your heart. Bring that up to the back of your neck, all the way up to the top of your head. And then exhale your hands to the floor. Down dog. Left foot, warrior one. I'm getting some dirty looks <laughs> and a few smiles. I'll take them all. Lengthen, lengthen long. And follow the length slowly. All the way up to the top. Good. Bring your hands down. Step back, plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Good. Back to down dog. Bring your right foot between your hands now and come onto the outer edge of that right foot. Lower the knee out to the side. And lower down onto your left thigh if you can or left knee if you can. And if you can't, that's cool. Hang there. And just lengthen your spine. If you need to use ridge tops or fingertips, that's fine. Ridge tops is just when your hands are flat and then kicking your thumbs back. Good. High to your hips. Low. That right foot can actually get hugged toward the left side of the mat. And then you can hug your back knee forward. And then follow your spine again. And you might be able to just come down onto the right side a little bit, maybe, maybe. Fine if not. We're here for three more breaths. Make sure your spine is long as it can be. And then gently reach back into down dog. Oh yes. Left foot between your hands. Coming onto the outer edge. Fingertips or ridge tops is fine. Pressing the sole of that left foot toward the right edge of your mat as you hug your back knee forward and slowly lower down as low as you can go. Keep your spine nice and tall and high. Follow the height into your skull. Make sure your head is on top of your spine. Last breath. And gently find your way back. Down up. Hmm. Bring your right foot between your hands, warrior three. If you're in close quarters, just bring the foot to the middle of the room, a middle of the mat, rather. And use the height 
and the maintenance of that height to hold the pose. Back foot toes are pointed, fourth and fifth toes are flared. A little smile on your face. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Left foot, warrior three. Again, please feel free to stand on the middle of your mat if you don't have a lot of room where you are. The height in your spine is the buoyancy of the pose. Back foot toes are pointed, fourth and fifth, flaring out to the side. Smiling. Downward facing. Good. Bring your knees to the floor and come to sit once again in Vajrasana. Rock pose, just sitting on your knees. And rest your hands on your thighs. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart just for a moment. There is one or two persons or contexts, perhaps right now, that make it difficult for you to feel like you can stand at your fullest height, literally and figuratively. It is to those situations and people that we bow today. These are the very moments where we get to build our practice, know our practice, and find ways to stay open when we desperately find it easier to close. Very gently release your hands down onto your legs and we'll shift your weight over to the right side of your feet. Real simple. Then bring your left hand to the floor. Just take a nice side stretch over to the left side. And again, think about those little multifidus muscles that are lining the right side of your spine. And just follow them upward. Thousands of them. They're about the size of half of your pinky. Little tiny guys. And follow them up the right side of your spine until you can't go anymore. And it's kind of an endless opening. And gently release your right hand down and come over to the other side. Right fingertips down, left arm high. And all the way over. Again, super close to the left side of your spine. Just create that length in tiny hundreds, thousands of little moments. 
of openings. And then gently release your left hand down. Good. Lengthen your right leg out in front of you. Good. And keep your left foot against the inside of your right thigh. Point your right foot toes and just fold down deeply over your right leg, flaring again the fourth and fifth toes. Good. Just do the best that you can. If you need to prop up your seat, you can always fold your mat up underneath you, put a pillow, a couple towels if you wish, if you need a little bit of height. And again, just spend the next few breaths following from the bottom to the top of your spine. And rooting your right leg down. And you can feel where along your spine at what latitude there is an interruption. Try and find your way through that, whether it's an interruption of mind or an interruption of architecture. And very slowly come back up. Just take a second there before you go on. And then switch your legs, please. And point your left foot toes. Root your left leg down and fold. Again, this is just a matter of where you're placing your awareness, lengthening from bottom to top. And feeling into the absolute longest length of your spine that you can locate. And then slowly begin to walk yourself back up. Lengthen both legs out in front of you. Flex both of your feet. Press your seat down into the floor. Move your head forward of your spine. And then move it back so it's really sitting on top of your spine. One more time, forward. Uh huh. And then spine, tall head on top. Beautiful. Bring your hands, fingertips to the floor next to you. Almost so much that you could take some of the weight off of your sitting bones for a moment. Mm -hmm. And then set them back down, spine on top of them, head on top of that. Rest your hands to your legs, but keep it everything else. Close your eyes and feel how much work is happening all along the core of your spine. Thigh bones rooting. Very 
Very good. Open your eyes if they've closed and cross your right foot over your left so that your knee stacks on top of your left knee. So we're taking half Gomukhasana and fold down. And again, creating nothing but height and holding that height. And then slowly rise up. And bring your left hand to that top knee, your right hand behind you. Just take a little twist, but keep your spine super long. Getting taller as you come back to the center. And switch your legs. Yep. And then slowly finding your way down. Just notice the difference on this side. When your body wants to check out, check in. And follow the length from the base to the back of your waist, to the back of your belly, to the base of your lungs, to the back of your heart, your shoulder blades. Very slowly come back up. And with your right hand to your top knee, left hand behind you. Long, super long spine, take a twist. And just keep growing the space by just bringing your awareness to it. And slowly come back to the sun. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, but scoot your seat up to the front of your mat and come to lie down in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you need props at all, you can place props underneath your thighs. Anything will do. You can even use your fists at the beginning if you don't have anything nearby. But your sweatshirts, towels, a couple books, pillows makes it much easier for the body to rest. Begin to extend from your hips out through your knees. And from the base of your spine, follow those little tiny openings 
along the left and the right sides, all the way up. And then very gently bring your feet to the ground, your knees to point up at the sky. And lift your pelvis up and away from the floor and interlace your hands beneath you. Roll onto your upper arms into bridge pose. Bring your feet to touch and your knees to touch. And bring your right leg high to the sky. Point the toes, flare the fourth and fifth. Lengthen your spine. You're going to find that you can move your head back. And let that length be what holds up this right leg. Really nice. Switch your feet, please. So the whole core of the body at attention, lengthening upward, softly lengthening upward. So there isn't a forced lift in the body. It's a soft height. Release the left foot down. If you'd like to, this is now your optional full wheel moment. Place your hands, come into the full wheel. Keep your attention on the length between the tail and the top of your head, and you'll have a really neat experience. Make sure your feet stay still, please, as you come up. And get that length from the base of your spine through to the top of your head, squarely in your awareness, and then shift your heart towards your hands. Let's slowly lower down. Bring your arms out to the sides. Let your body rest. Let your knees fall over to the left side, but keep your feet right where they are, please. Over to the left, Good. And then knees over to the right side, please. It feels good right about now. And then back to the center, lengthen your left leg long along the floor. And bring your right knee into your chest, hug it in. Bring your right leg high to the sky. And perpendicular with your hands interlaced behind the back of that right thigh, close to the groin. Guide it across you over to the left side. So we're basically taking the same pose we took on our bellies before, now on our backs. Open your right arm out to the right. And use your left hand to bring that right leg a little bit higher, just to give it a little, a little bit of a challenge. 
you can use your right thumb just for a moment in your upper right thigh to work that right thigh outer hip away from you. And then extend your right arm again. And very gently bring that leg back to the center and just let it rest next to your left for a few moments, flat on the floor, arms out to the sides. Keep your right leg long, hug your left knee into your chest now. And interlace your hands behind the back of that left thigh. Close to the groin, lengthen the left leg high. Good. Keeping your right leg grounded, guide your left across you. Over to the right side. Use your right hand. And open up. Again, you can use your right hand just to bring that leg a little bit closer. Bring your attention back to that length in your spine and see how quickly your eyes close when you start that little journey upward. Mostly what the world wants and needs from us is this capacity to hold this intention. Nobody needs us to be super tall or super perfect in our bodies. We need to be able to hold an intention, to hold our space, our awareness. We move in the direction of height so that we can stay open at every latitude. It's not just about rising up and receiving the information. It's really about being able to share the openings at every level of our being, every latitude of our physical body and every level of our being, emotional, intellectual, spiritual. And come back to the center. Good. Then lay your legs down on the floor. You can take happy baby or any last sort of knees in pose just to reacquaint your back with the floor and let your hips get a little more open and find your way into your Shavasana when you're ready.
And very gently begin to deepen your breathing. And just feel the height in your spine and the length of your legs and your arms. Invite your knees into your chest and bring the soles of your feet to touch there and then rub your hands and feet together. Good. And then roll to your right side. And if you wish, you can place your hands right over your eyes for a moment there. And then slowly come up to sitting. And turn your palms to face up once again. Keep your spine nice and tall. And bring your thumb to touch your index finger. And then bring it to touch your middle finger. And then your ring finger. And then your pinky. Good. And take that little trip for just a few minutes. Index, middle ring and pinky. And to yourself, for your index finger, you can say the syllable sa, just to yourself, in silent. Middle finger, ta. Ring finger, na. And pinky, ma. Ta, ta, na, ma. And touch one at a time, in turn. And chant it to yourself. And feel the little journey that you take each time from index to pinky. Wow. Little tiny smile on your face. We'll bring our volume up to a little whisper. When you feel ready, I'll just get it started. So. Keep this going as you travel across the tip of each finger. Reconnecting all the disparate parts of your brain. Traveling from the start to the end and back to the beginning. See what happens when you travel the length of your spine again and bring it up to a speaking voice. Sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Your spine nice and long. Ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa. to present, transformation, to rebirth. Mm -hmm. 
Spine tall. And back to the silence. Last two rounds. And bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Bring your chin to your chest. In as big or as small a voice as you wish, you can repeat after me. May the long time sun. Shine upon you. Shine upon you. To all of our teachers, to all of the ways, people, and situations that are bringing us to stand taller within ourselves, make more space be more soft and yet completely more clear into our families. Namaste.